Okay, the question was how do we weed out the thieves from the copper and the other stuff. I'm sure everyone's read about these issues. We're under a lot of regulation right now. Uh, we participate in a, in a program called Leads Online. We record every transaction we make for the police. It's monitored, it's sent directly to a data source that's monitored every day. Driver's license, ID, tags, pictures of the person, pictures of the material. Um, you know, we get everything we possibly can to identify that material. And a lot of times if it's something that, you know, we've been in the business long enough, we see something that looks suspicious. We've got, we work directly with the, the police in North Little Rock and, the, and Little Rock's finest. We do the best we can for these folks. But basically what we do is we document the transaction the best as we can, but we have everything that the, 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 the judge needs to see. Uh, you know, the IDs, the pictures, the cars, the time of day. We've even got it on video. So we've spent a lot of money uh, trying to keep these guys from getting into our, our business because it takes away our time where we have to go to court for someone that stole $78 worth of an air conditioning part. And, you know, and, and they plead out a lot of the times. But again, and I'll give you another example. A couple of years ago, one of the transmitting stations in Little Rock had some brass stolen. It wasn't worth that much money on the street, but the damage to the, the power company was almost $300,000, the usable product. So these guys obviously aren't bright, um, but they're signing a document. They're telling us where they got the material from. That's something we've added. You, know, you tell us where you got it. You tell us the address you got it from. And, if, and if, if we don't comply with these rules, we're called on the carpet. We've got to account for it. So everything, everything we do, is there's a record for it. It's on the digital transfer every day, down to the thumbprints on both thumbs. Mark, Mark are there recyclers around town who will take anything? Okay, the question is, will they take anything, as in, like... Uh, no, as in what you're speaking. Stolen air conditioning. Yes. I can't speak for the other yards. Um, you know, I think everyone has been bit by this bug before. Uh, you know, someone will come in and say, I got this from my aunt's house at so-and-so. I mean, if he signs his name and says he's telling the truth, you know, we, we can't prove that he's, you know, he's, uh, he's not telling us straight up. Um, again, uh, it, it's, it's a very difficult problem, but we are making some headway on it. Um, you know, the, we ask a lot of these people, just get your police report filed, you know, keep your place locked up the best you can. Um, it, it's a shame when I see someone at a church come in and ask us if they've seen an air conditioning unit that was taken off the back of their, their chapel hall. I mean, it, it, I mean, you know, we're people too. It, it, it bothers us. I don't know if I've, I've, I've helped you answer, but we, we're doing the best we can. It's a... Uh, Again, the, 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 the legal system, they've got to do their part, too, and that, that's a whole other issue for another day because a lot of these crimes aren't a lot of money to some people, but dead government, you know, if I had an air conditioning unit stolen from my trailer this time of year, I would, I would be, you know, obviously upset. So.